This is the Star News Brief. I'm Joy Liregi. Sanitary towels provided by the government to school-going girls are of low quality and easily fall off while in use, a new audit report has revealed. In response, health workers warned the poor quality pads could result in infections, skin irritations, and worsen the stigma and shame around menstruation. The multi-million project is meant to boost the retention of teenage girls in school, enhance their academic performance, and thus increase transition to higher learning institutions. However, a report by Auditor General Nancy Gadungu raised concerns with the quality, saying this has robbed the girls of self-esteem. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. Uncertainty has rocked the ongoing talks between the government and opposition as President William Ruto's troops continue to send mixed signals about the dialogue. Ruto's men are increasingly asking him to abandon the talks, triggered by widespread and chaotic opposition protests, and instead focus on development. This comes even as the 10-member National Dialogue Committee meets for the third time on Monday since its establishment to crack the agenda and unlock the talks. The team, led by Azimio's Kalonzo Musioka and Kenya Kwanza's Kimani Shungwa, is expected to receive agenda items from their technical team. Wild animals are mutilating human bodies buried in shallow graves at the filled-up Langata Cemetery, as thieves steal coffins, MPs have said. The lawmakers said the dead are not resting in peace, as the animals are feasting on their bodies every night, thanks to City Hall and the Ministry of Health's inaction to relocate the site. Rangwe MP Lilian Gogo held that besides the mutilation, some bodies are never buried but simply dumped and left to decompose, sending stench to the entire place and the neighboring estate. Gogo spoke on the floor of parliament during a debate sponsored by Langata MP Felix Odiwar, alias Jalango, on the status of Langata Cemetery. An elderly couple was at the weekend arrested in a land dispute saga in Lovington area Nairobi. This follows an order by the Director of Public Prosecutions that the two, Mahesh Kumar Bhatti and Anita Bhatti, be arrested and charged for the offense of forcible detainer. The two are said to have been staying on the land number 209-77712, which belongs to Munir Ahmed and Malkiat Singh Asi, deceased, as joint tenants and lessees. Which belongs to Munir Ahmed and Malkiat Singh Asi, deceased, as joint tenants as lessees. The investigations say the claims by the couple are unfounded as they do not possess any ownership documents of the subject property. Investigators say the property belongs to Malkiat Singh Asi and Munir Ahmed Chudri since 1977. The body of Beatrice Neema Kalume, a girl who jumped off a bridge to her death, was found trapped in the rocks near Seahorse Beach within Kalifi Creek. The body was retrieved a Saturday evening after 10 days of gruesome search. It was found about 500 meters from where she jumped off. The body was positively identified by family members at the Kalifi County Referral Hospital Mortuary. Despite being badly mutilated, the family confirmed that it was Neema through a tattoo on her body. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.